What's up everyone, today I have a quick video with 3 reasons as to why I stopped using a physical Rosaria and changed my Rosaria to a Cryo build. I know everyone's focus is now on Inazuma with version 2.0 coming in less than a week, but I figured one more short video would be alright to make before I also switch my focus onto the new content that's about to come. So, with Rosaria getting her very first raid up since her initial release in version 1.4, I'm sure people are starting to get Rosaria and even some of her constellations. Now while I do believe that a physical Rosaria is great, I definitely don't regret shifting my Rosaria over to a cryo build. Shifting Rosaria to a cryo build has made her a hybrid support slash sub DPS that I've really just fallen in love with, and I hope some of you guys will also fall in love with the cryo build after hearing what I have to say about it and trying it out for yourselves. Pivoting straight into the first reason as to why I like cryo Rosaria, we have her usefulness for current and upcoming content. Right now we have a ton of enemies in Spiral Abyss and combat events that have lots of physical resistance like Geo Vishaps or Ruin based enemies. Even against Abyss Heralds and Abyss Lectors who don't actually have that much physical resistance, I feel as if Cryo Rosaria works wonders since shredding their shields is a big predicament for some players. Typically, Cryo builds have a lot more energy recharge than the physical variants, which allows you to spam your elemental burst off cooldown against those pesky shields. And of course, luckily for us, Cryo matches up well against both Hydro and Electro shields. As for upcoming enemies with Inazuma, I have a feeling that Cryo Rosaria will also provide the same benefits. We'll probably have a good amount of enemies that are either Electro infused or even have Electro shields. In addition, we're probably going to get some enemies with high natural physical resistance like the new entries to the Ruined Guard family. Either way, I think it's not that physical damage is necessarily in the worst spot, but it's just that I've really noticed how great Cryo is as an element. The only character that really escapes this narrative is Eula. In the end, Rosaria always finds a way to slide into my team comps because of how well her Cryo build matches up against a lot of enemies. Speaking of how I always use Rosaria in my teams, that's the perfect segue to reason number two. The second reason as to why I switched to Cryo Rosaria is because of her flexibility. On one hand, the physical Rosaria playstyle is very telegraphed. You have Rosaria on your team for one job, and you always support her with Fischl, Beto, or Lisa for Superconduct. On the other hand, I love that Cryo Rosaria has multiple possibilities. You can build her for a crit rate support, Superconduct support, Reverse Melt DPS, or even a Freeze Team support. The best part about all these possibilities is not only that she's flexible in this sense, but she can also fill more than just one of these roles at once. For just one example of how you can combine two different roles, you can build Rosaria with high crit rate as a Superconduct support to grant both physical res reduction and extra crit rate to your main DPS, which could be a character like Fischl or Eula. With Constellation 6, you can grant even more physical res reduction, but it's not necessary since Rosaria already has more than enough support even at C0. For the third and last reason, Cryo Rosaria is a lot easier to build in comparison to Physical Rosaria. When building a Physical Rosaria, even with a passive that can increase her crit rate by 12%, getting the adequate crit rate to crit damage ratio is still quite difficult. A good portion of players will opt to run the Dragon Spine Spear or Crescent Pike, both of which don't grant any crit stats, and Rosaria also ascends into attack instead of crit rate or crit damage. What this means is that all your crit stats are going to have to come from artifacts, which is quite a tall order for many players, including myself. Building Physical Rosaria on a completely free-to-play account was extremely difficult considering I couldn't just solve my problems by buying the battle pass and getting deathmatch to fix my crit rate. Instead, switching to Crow Rosaria was a brilliant decision because the stat requirements plummeted. For different playstyles of Cryo Rosaria, there are different stats that you want to focus on, but the main point I'm trying to get across is that instead of needing every stat to be good, you only need certain stats to stand out with Cryo Rosaria. It should be pretty self-explanatory, but the logic goes something like this. If you build a crit rate support Rosaria, you want to focus on getting as much energy recharge and crit rate as possible. This way, we can consistently use her elemental burst for a crit rate buff that goes up to 15% when you have 100% crit rate. Every other stat aside from a little bit of cryo damage bonus can be ignored since we're a pure support in this sense. If you build Rosaria for a permafreeze team, on the other hand, we still want to focus on energy recharge, but this time, instead of crit rate, we want to focus crit damage. 
with the four set blizzard strayer and the cryo resonance even when we have a super low crit rate we can still get critical hits consistently of course, with the 4-set Blizzard Strayer, since we're building Rosaria for damage, attack percent and cryo damage bonus are also very important. But beyond the 4 stats of energy recharge, crit damage, cryo damage bonus, and attack, crit rate can be completely ignored. I don't know if I quite made a lot of sense there, but hopefully out of all my rambling, you understand that physical Rosaria is demanding on stats, while cryo Rosaria allows you to slack off on certain stats, making cryo variants much easier to build. If you're curious to see what a Cryo Rosaria build looks like, you can quickly take a look at my current build for Rosaria as a Freeze Team DPS when paired up with Chong Yun and Xing Chiu. The most surprising thing about this build is definitely the prototype Star Glitter. This weapon has outperformed all my expectations, and I think it's a brilliant free to play option for Cryo Rosaria. Not only is the ER stat extremely useful, but Rosaria can also get a ton of value out of the passive since I decided to pair her with Chongyun for Cryo Infusion. But beyond that, everything else is pretty standard with the 4 set Blizzard Strayer and stacking as much crit damage as possible. And with that, those are my 3 reasons as to why I like Cryo Rosaria and why I switched over from a physical build. If you want to, be sure to let me know down in the comments which Rosaria build you have and whether or not you're satisfied with it. If you enjoyed this shorter video or thought it was useful, be sure to support both the video and the channel, but other than that, I'll see y'all in the next one with some brand new character guides and other Inazuma content. Peace.